Mm-hmm. Now, can you give us um, a rundown of uh, your experiments to show how gravity works um, with this effect? Yeah, the, the explanation of my experiment, especially for the field propulsion or control of gravity, uh, from, po- from a point of view of my theory, is easy. But if I try to explain from the point of view of the existing physics, of the modern, modern physics, it is impossible. And why? Because in, from my theory, I envision this uh, uh, underlying structure called cosmic lattice that is so fine that uh, the distance between the separate knots of this structure is uh, shorter than uh, 10 to the power of uh, 22. So it is never could reach this just uh, for direct observations. But once understanding this, and understanding that uh, the Newtonian gravity is propagated through this structure, then one could envision a proper modulation of this structure that the propagation of the gravitational force could be changed, could be slightly modified. And this is the namely that uh, I wanted to do to my, with my experiment and I get some successful experiment that show effect. I called uh, gravito-inertial effect and I demonstrated uh, in the lab experiment. Okay, we're going we're gonna to actually talk uh, about your experiments in the laboratory But right now, we've got to take a quick break, okay? Okay. If you suffer or know someone that suffers from back pain, knee pain, or any other chronic or sports-related pains, you need to visit LapingoProducts.com. Dealing with pain can affect every aspect of your life, which is why our products are designed to bring you real relief. Our products are not only easy to use, effective and safe for the entire family, but our prices are competitive and offer a complete satisfaction guarantee. Visit LapingoProducts.com, real life solutions for pain-free living. AlternativeLifestyleProducts.com is your gateway to over 500 products, ranging from herbs to pain relief products, health and well-being. AlternativeLifestyleProducts.com is dedicated to educating and empowering you to make the best possible informed decisions about what products you can use to improve your health and well-being. Visit AlternativeLifestyleProducts.com and bring about change in your life. And we're back. Okay, we were talking about, uh, we're talking to Stoyan Sarg, who's done a lot of work in physics. He's also done some lab work. With uh, what was it? Was you doing working with anti gravity, or can it be termed as such? Anti gravity, Sarg? Uh, you, you could call anti gravity because usually this research is called anti gravity, but uh, to be more accurate, uh, I call it uh, control of gravity because uh, anti gravity usually means that it is in the opposite direction of the gravity to the center of the world. Mm-hmm. But from my, uh, from my uh, envision this effect, you could make uh, some kind of force field that could be in any direction, not only, uh, not only in the line of uh, Earth gravity, opposite in the line, but in any direction. Okay. Tom? Um, and you, you've uh, created this experiment in a lab, and yeah. you were able to show that how how this effect works, correct? Yeah, I, I created this experiment. In fact, uh, to to put a few words about the physics of this experiment, because the physics is very important. Uh, I use a uh, plasma around an object. In fact, there is a research in this field, and this is under a very different name of the plasma research, electrogravity, magnetogravity, uh, and, uh, magnetohydrodynamics, electrohydrodynamics. And uh, other researchers, in fact, they found that there is something uh, existing, but they didn't uh, envision the, the phys- physical mechanism. In fact, nobody than me envisioned the existence of gravity-inertial effect. 
Usually they think that it is interaction of the ions and electrons with the other parts of the atmosphere with surrounding field that makes some kind of small propulsion. But from my point of view, it is a gravitational effect. And a bit different is that they don't envision that this effect could be used outside of the Earth atmosphere. And this is very important because I see that this effect could work outside of the atmosphere. So it could be used as a uh, principal, completely new uh, propulsion. Field, I call it field propulsion. It's a completely new kind. It is not uh, uh, a jet propulsion system. It, it has uh, different features. And, and, uh, and how did you show that it would work outside of Earth's atmosphere? Uh, in fact, uh, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> my experiments are in the uh, in the atmosphere. Okay. But so it's the uh, it's not the ion wind. Yeah, it is not the ion wind, and I tested this by two experiments. But uh, one experiment that is more obvious is I put the the so-called plasma thruster in the closed volume. And I activated uh, this thruster on and off, and um, the 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 closed volume cylinder uh, started to move. If it is uh, a ionic wind, it is not possible to do this motion. And I have also another experiment that uh, I'm convinced that it is not a uh, ion wind. The well, effect is very weak okay. because uh, I have to work with the high voltages. And the bottom level of this high voltage is 25,000 volts in the normal air. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, this uh, effect, to, to investigate further this effect, it uh, requires a special environment. It is not easy to reproduce in, just in the desktop. Right, right. So you've, so you've, done, the, you've done the experiments uh, uh, in, inside of a tube yeah. that was... Uh, that you had movement within the tube, so that discounts the, the it's the ionic wind theory. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I put a, a thruster uh, inside of the uh, tube, transparent tube, mm -hmm. and I hang uh, the electrodes of the tubes, so I activate the thruster, the whole tube is moving. Okay. So this is indication that this is not ion wind because ion wind in this case could not interact with the uh, external atmosphere. Right, right, it right. It is enclosed. Yeah. It's enclosed. Okay. So, so that uh, and by the way, those uh, we have a video of Stoyan's experiment on our website under uh, past guests tomorrow. It'll be under past guests. You can just look up where it's stowing. You see a video there of him doing his experiment. Um, okay, so you, you've done that. And what now is the difference between... How would you describe the difference in propulsion or uh, maneuverability of the UFO craft inside and outside the atmosphere? And the reason I ask this is because several reasons, not just the propulsion... The the crafts that have been filmed for years and years and years, they seem to, they wobble a bit, don't they, Tom? They they sort yes, of, they, do. they you know, they wobble back and forth, and then when they get you get pictures from the this the uh, space station and from the the you know outside the atmosphere, there's no none of that. That doesn't occur. You don't see wobbling. You just see straight movements. And and why is that? What would how could you explain? The difference of the of the maneuverability of the craft inside and outside the uh, the atmosphere. Yeah. When I uh, envision this effect and make experiments, I investigate uh, a lot of, in fact, literature, the physical evidence, and uh, I am convinced that uh, this effect, uh, the principle of this effect, uh, is working. That, uh, for example. If the craft is uh, outside of the atmosphere, it needs a very little bit uh, gas around it to be activated to make a plasma. So this plasma even is uh, released from the craft itself, but it is activated around the craft. 
um, this plasma has to be activated asymmetrically around the craft. Also, it is uh, usually activated in pulses because some kind of memory effect in the, the, this uh, uh, physical vacuum. And when it is activated uh, asymmetrically, there is a force field in the proper direction. But when, the, 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 but it is very important that the, the not every gas is uh, so much suitable. For example, hydrogen on, or helium, uh, one of the most suitable gases. But when it is in the Earth atmosphere, then the uh, Earth, uh, the Earth gas is not very suitable, and they have to release re release their own gas. But the whole system, because not so. Uh, uh, stable because it interferes of the earth atmosphere and that the, the, and for this reason they wobble they yeah. wobble and you see they wobble yeah. plasma okay yeah. so now the other thing we have and, and Tom I think you'll agree with this is uh, UFOs in, in the earth's atmosphere can very rapidly change colors from red to green to blue to yellow do you agree with that Tom I mean you've seen yeah. a lot of that right yeah. Then they change colors. Is there an explanation for that? Yeah, there is an explanation of this because uh, they may carry not just one gas. They may carry a, a few types of gas. In fact, uh, before I make experiment, I make a plasma research experiment uh, with, uh, with a vacuum. Not a very high vacuum, but a vacuum enough that I put different gases. In this case, this kind of uh, plasma dis discharge, that is very specific. I call it heterodyne resonance mechanism, it has very specific features, you could see different color. And I observed different color, really. Even in my book, in the back, uh, uh, in the back cover, I put uh, some picture of the gas inside of the uh, partial vacuum. Okay. Um, so, Stoyan, now, if, uh, if, if an object um, was to be encompassed with this type of uh, energy that we're, we're talking about, uh, and and it was to be used for travel outside of um, our space, um, is there what, what would be the limitations, or is there any limitation? From uh, from my investigation, theoretical, I see still the uh, the limit of the of the sp speed of light. I still did not, did not envision that uh, this barrier, but uh, maybe <laughs> even this is something. But uh, I think that there is a limit of the speed of light. But another thing that I envision, that this kind of uh, propulsion mechanism w will fight the, the inertia. It will change not only the gravitation, but also the inertia. Or in other words, it could change the 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 mass of the object and that means change of the gravitational and inertial mass and uh, in a properly designed spacecraft the 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 people that uh, uh, inside may not feel the the sudden acceleration and um, it could obtain a huge acceleration in a properly designed spacecraft and the inside column may not feel this acceleration. Now, is 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 it possible with this sort of uh, approach uh, to be able to do higher than the light speed, or or is light speed pretty much the you know the theory that we have that that's the highest there is? This is uh, something that uh, difficult to answer, but I could tell you another thing that. Uh, there is uh, the the speed of light is a limit, well known limit for electromagnetic waves, but there is such kind of waves that highly exceed the speed of light, and there is investigation. There is uh, one book and research of one Russian scientist. His name is Nikolai Kozirev. Um, Thirty years ago, he made very unique experiments with a telescope and. He registered the speed that is a thousand, thousand times uh, higher than the speed of light. 